no more thank you and no more gratefulness. I don't know what to talk. It's not talking, it's sharing. All over the planet now, there is a great madness or mindness. It's up to us to choose. There is no what to do. Just let us stop looking at the, what we see. We are not a body. We are not what I wear. I am the awareness, not what I wear. So most of the time I feel I'm fed up mainly with the Arabs. Because all what they look at, a new look. There's nothing else. And this conspiracy was made since thousands of years about the Middle Eastern people. And this is why many prophets, so-called, came from this place. Many Christ, many Muhammad, many Rabi'ah, many Halaj. Because in the middle, we are not in the middle. We either go far east or far west or far this. Don't go far, it's so near. Wherever you are, it's a holy land. Wherever you are, be still and know that you are God. It's not a name, it's a revering, it's a verb, godliness. Existence, stillness, silence, name it anything, fucking. God is in the shit. This shifting is not he, is not she, God is not it. God, he, shit, just like you. So the more we are interested in the outside look, we cannot go into the inner book. I'm the only one on this planet, maybe the only one in the Arab world, that I can flow. This big eye is flowing through this small eye, the bamboo. I don't have to use any papers, any other stuff. This is all bullshit. The river doesn't have a map. All the animals, all nature, they don't look at the book, how to fuck. It's the only one that we are the stupid the so-called human being. No humanity, no human beings. We are only citizenship, shift shit. So it's my choice. What is my choice? To be myself. No more anybody outside. I have no life for this anymore. I don't need anything from anyone. What you have it, you know, I have much more. What we have inside, no money can buy it. So why don't we go to the inner treasure? You don't have to do any meditation, any fucking techniques, all this. I just want to read this word to see that the word fuck, what does it mean? Just be it, look at it, what's going on? There is no good and bad. Wake up, shocking system. Now, every politician, everyone, wherever you are, they want to kill many people, mainly in the Arab world. Then you become a killer. Why be a killer when you can be a healer? Why do this? It's your choice to be. So my Ten Commandments now, just fuck. fuck is one of the most beautiful words. The English language should be proud of it. I don't think any other language has such a beautiful word. It's in Lebanon, two small cities or villages. They use it, they fuck Allah, they fuck this. It's like they use it out of love, out of hugging and, how is your fucking mother doing? Is she better today? One Tom from California has done some great research on it. I think he must be the famous Tom of Tom, Dick, and Harry fame. He says, one of the most interesting words in the English language today is the word fuck. It's one magical word just by its sound. It can describe pain, pleasure, hate, and love. In language, it falls into many grammatical categories. It can be used as a verb, both transitive. John fucked Mary, and intransitive, Mary was fucked by John. And as a noun, Mary is a fine fuck. It can be used as an adjective. Mary is fucking beautiful. 
as you can see, there are not many words in the versality of fuck besides the sexual meaning. There are also the following uses. Fraud. I got fucked at the used car lot. Ignorance. Fucked if I know. Trouble. I guess I'm fucked now. Aggression. Fuck you. Displeasure. What the fuck is going on here? Difficulty. I can't understand this fucking job. Incompetence. He's a fuck off. Suspicion. What the fuck are you doing? Enjoyment. I had a fucking good time. Get the fuck out of here. The request. Hostility. I'm going to knock your fucking head off. Greetings. How the fuck are you? Apathy. Who gives a fuck? Innovation. Get a bigger fucking hammer. Surprise. Fuck you. You scared the shit out of me. Anxiety. Today is really fucked. And it's very healthy too. In every morning you do it as a TM meditation, transcendental meditation. Just when you get up, first thing, repeat the mantra, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, five times. It clears the throat. That's how I keep my throat clear. So show me where there is no love, no light, no energy, no godliness. It's everywhere. Wherever you go, it's light from light, it's energy. But we have two energies, positive, negative, alpha, omega, yin, yang, male, female, good, bad, day, night. So they dance together. So how is your dance today? Now, that's the dance of choice. We as a human being or human becoming, it's much better. We have the choice like this essence. Look, where do they go? It's like a cloud. Fragrance. They are not dead. There is a roots for them. And this, the essence of life. We go somewhere, we melt, we merge, we meet. We're still here, we don't die. But where do we go? At the end, no footsteps. So there is no first step what to do. I can't tell anybody what to do. I can't tell you what I be, A, B, and C. I read only and only and only Osho. He is my orchestra. His body, mind, soul, his man and woman, he is the nothingness and the existence. So it touched my heart. The first book, the first page, the first seed I read, that was it. It's like, I don't know if I got it here. I had the seed, any seed, any seed that you touch. It gives you a big tree. Small seed, the mustard seed, the biggest tree. This is the best bank. So what you have a money or a power of a paper doesn't have any power. You can buy bullshits. But if you are really thirsty, you go to the river. You don't need a cup. You have the best cup. All what we need is to wake up. That's all. Sometimes I say to Basim, we don't have to do any web, anything anymore. It's all bullshit. Nothing. I sit at the computer, at the internet. Yes, I have few soul friends, soul mates here and there, but we are all in the same shit now, in the same fuck, that there is nothing out. Nowhere to go, no book to read, no look. New look, good look. These are all dead people. When I have no desire to go out, I ask myself why, because I don't need anything. I have all what I need in this small home. The grave is much more smaller than any home. So soon the body now, or we don't know when, goes so what to do with the little time that we have? Maybe one breath. You go to death or to deathlessness. It's up your choice. 
up to you to choose. Let the dead bury the dead. Bury there. They don't know how to bury now. Just all at the time of Christ, maybe just there was something. But now, they just to go and to show off and shake hands and say, yes, I love you. This is all bullshit, dead emotion. So where do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Just be where you are right now, wherever you are. Take a deep breath and be grateful that you are still breathing. Be grateful that you have a web like this that you can push button and watch each other, mirroring each other, both of us. Be grateful that you can see or talk or walk or whatever you are doing. And so many of us, they have Nobody and nothing, they don't see, they don't talk or walk. And, but things they are still more grateful than me. So enjoy this moment and let this moment be your TM meditation. You are already transcending, you don't need any technique. Just be in this moment. And when being in this moment, Immediately you are at one moment with the one or the oneness or the isness or the existence. Buddha never ever said the name God. He said, truth has no names. This is why in Sufism, in Islam, in birthright, in nature, Muhammad gave 99 names and he said the hundreds. No words, no talk anymore. When you say, ah, you don't need this to. So this is why when we speak about repression and depression, because we don't have any expression of our feelings. Now in Lebanon, where I am now at home, like tempest or a storm or raining, but wind, winding and here and there, you know, I have so many plants, the house has more plants than books or furniture. And I do touch them all and we are in love with each other. But one of them right now, instead of falling, she, she it's not it, she's just now. She wants to come and listen. She's listening. She doesn't need the flower or a plant. I don't have flowers, I just only buy plants and take care of them because I want them to be with the roots. It's much better to be in the earth, but out of greed I have them in pots and pans, whatever. But the more they are in the roots, the more they have fruits and fragrances and, and they enjoy them, that they have energy in the house. They just like me, they breathe and they give me Signs. One day it was January 1, 1990. And it was a great time to look and I said, 1990, January. And I looked and I saw a beautiful flower in one of these plants that usually doesn't have a flower. So I looked at it, I said, what's this sign? I went to the farmers and this, the one who gives me all these plants, he said, no, this one doesn't have any plants. And at the net, the internet, they said, today we have a great celebration for Osho. He left his body at 119. Mm -hmm. So it's like touching us in everything. It doesn't need signatures that, you know, to sign it. Or once when you have love to anything, to the ant or to the mosque or mosquitoes or whatever, then you see it, that treasure in every power. 